Hi, everyone. Jeff Yastine here, and welcome back to another edition of Market Insight. I'm joined by my colleague and friend, Mike Carr, editor of Peak Velocity Trader and Precision Profits. Mike, uh, welcome. It's great to be chatting with you again. Thank you, Jeff. Good to be here. You know, let's talk about the Federal Reserve, which uh, raised, or excuse me, raised, lowered interest rates by a quarter of a point last week. What do you think that's going to do, in your opinion, for the stock market and for the economy? I think that in the end, it's not really going to mean much for the economy. It's a quarter point. Nobody's going to notice in the end. I think what's significant, there was a little bit of dissent. Two of the governors wanted to cut by 50 basis points. And a 50 basis point cut, that would mean a big deal is happening somewhere. So I think the Fed is acting like they know something we don't. There's a crisis brewing. Yeah, I, I agree. And I, I do think the, the main effect of the Federal Reserve cutting rates uh, in, in that small way is mainly uh, perhaps psychological. I think it's interesting how the market, uh, at least thus far as we've taped this, uh, this edition of Market Insight, the market has, hasn't reacted too much so far. But of course, as we know, all it takes is uh, one tweet from the White House or one headline that uh, the computer algorithms that Wall Street uses uh, don't like, and it can, it can send us uh, all looking at our screens in a much more intense way. Um, what would be your suggestion for uh, people who subscribe to you or people who are thinking about subscribing to your service as far as how they should approach what's happening with the Fed versus what you do in your service? Is, is there any connection or you just ignore one, focus on the other? It, the market, as you know from your long career in the markets, is often disconnected from reality. And I think that's where we are right now. I'm seeing a period exactly like January 2008. There was a crisis. The Fed cut rates three quarters of a point between meetings on a holiday. So out of nowhere, the Fed does this surprise cut. You know what happened later in 2008, the whole world collapsed. But for six months, there was no impact on the market. So the Fed knows there's a problem, it's coming. But until it comes, we should trade and enjoy the profits. It's what I've been telling my subscribers as well. It is important to not try to look too far out into the future we know that there are risks out there. And as you noted, the Fed has uh, indicated in its own way that there are risks out there. But at the same time, if you try to look too far out, you try to sort of outguess what's going to happen in the market uh, and what the Fed may or may not do. Uh, it can put you into more trouble than you might ever possibly imagine. So the best thing, as you were noting, is focus on your stocks, focus for the next you know, several weeks to a month. Of course, I'm looking more on a fundamental basis for my uh, service for Total Wealth Insider. You're looking at things on a more technical uh, matter for your services. But the main thing is we both have systems. You follow that system and, and until it tells you uh, otherwise, you know, as, as your stocks uh, move in different directions, correct? Correct. And you know, I know it seems like a long shot, but it is possible the Fed is going to solve the crisis, whatever it is. So we can't discount the fact that their work may pay off and avoid the crisis. Exactly. I know for myself, one thing I've been talking to people about is this whole issue with China and the Trump White House and these, uh, this ongoing tariff situation, which I don't know whether it's going to get resolved uh, by this administration and before the election or not. But I do know if the market begins to weaken, that puts pressure on the administration to do something. And again, it wouldn't take much, uh, as we've seen before, even sometimes just a positive tweet or two to suddenly get the market moving in the uh, upper uh, direction, the upper trend, even if it only lasts for a few days. But the point being, it doesn't take much for the administration to say something or do something concrete to suddenly turn the market around. And that's why, as you know, we just can't look too far ahead. Any final thoughts there, Mike? No, I just think this is a great time to be watching, great time to be active, and just not take anything for granted. I, I couldn't agree more. 
and we'll just keep following things as they follow the breadcrumbs, as they say, uh, until it leads to uh, bigger profits for us and for our subscribers. Mike, I appreciate you, uh, you coming on and joining us for Market Insight this week. Thank you. And for all of you, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll have a brand new edition next week. So for all of us here at Sovereign Investor Daily, we'll see you again next week.